Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess. Welcome to Friday, it's the weekend eve, we all love Friday. Thank you very much for joining me and a bigger thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'm so happy to have you all on board and so enjoying the adventure. If you haven't joined me yet, then I'd love to have you on board. Please subscribe. Um, the last few days I've been working, so I've been trying to do videos early in the morning before I leave. So if there's no details underneath, then you may have to go back to a previous um, email to look for things like personal readings and some details about me. So I'm sorry, I've, I just don't have time to update those and I want to get the readings to you in the morning. So um, that's the best option I have. There's an offer coming in for someone here. The card just jumped out. Okay, so today is Friday the 5th. So we want to find out what's cracking for Friday the 5th. And thank you everyone for such lovely comments. Oh, and hello to my, all my Aussie friends out there. Because I've heard so much everybody saying it's great to find an Aussie reader. And I'm so proud of that. Thanks, guys. Okay, so today... All right. Oh, that's a bit of a sad card to start off with. So we have the Eight of Swords here. Now, the Eight of Swords shows a woman who's blindfolded and she's in amongst a whole lot of swords and it looks like she can't get out. But if you look closely, her binds aren't that tight and she could loosen them and take off her mask, but she prefers to be stuck there. Now, the swords represent your thoughts and feelings. And what this says to me, and I love that there's one standing out here on its own. Because this is the one you're walking towards and this is the truth. Now, in this picture, I don't think she can go backwards either. So it's a little different. This is the Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. Um, so to me, she's got this truth in front of her that she wants to speak. However, she's so blocked and doesn't want to see what's ahead. So it's almost like she doesn't want to speak this truth because she's not really sure what might happen if she does that. So rather than do it, she stays stuck in her thoughts and feelings. Now, <laughs> I can relate to this. I'm sure most people watching this video will be able to relate to this. All she needs to do is loosen those binds, takes off the blindfold, grabs the sword and moves forward. Ace of Swords. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what else is going on for today. I just like to be able to see the pack in the picture, so you see me drawing the cards. So first card out is the Three of Cups. Now the Three of Cups traditional meaning is about celebration, wedding, birth, something. I'm sure a lot of you are going to weddings this weekend or are waiting for a baby. Um, I know my family are waiting on our new arrival. So it can mean all of those things. Now, it can mean a third-party relationship, and I know a lot of people go straight to that with this card, but I'd rather wait it out to see if that is the case because on its own, it's a very happy celebratory card, and that's the nicest thing about this card. So you can see the three women drinking. So maybe you've got plans with your friends for the weekend. You know, there's a birth, there's a marriage, christening, whatever, a bit of a get-together. So the second card here is the Five of Wands, and the Five of Wands talks about conflict. Now this is sometimes going to be internal conflict, but for a lot of people this is internal. And I'm thinking here we've got a bit of internal conflict here, we've got some conflict with the Eight of Swords that's internal, and then I've got the Three of Cups. So this says to me some of you may be concerned about a Three party relationship or a third party within your relationship. Maybe you haven't had... Um, much contact with the person that you are with or there seems to be some irregular or unusual behavior and you've gone straight to maybe he's having an affair this could be just your thinking though so I want to find out as we're moving forward because this is all about this card is all about conflict the eight of swords is all about thinking so I'm not sure that that is what is actually happening here Okay, the next card is the Six of Swords. So whatever it is in this particular thing, you're actually thinking of moving forward. Now, if this is about work, and I've had a lot of people this week talk about jobs. To me, this could be very, very much about a work or business situation where um, other people are being perhaps promoted ahead of you or other people are being treated perhaps 
I don't want to say better than you, but more fairly than you, and you're feeling that you're being disadvantaged by this situation because it is leaving you a lot in your head. Whether this is relationship or work, you're definitely a lot in your head. So here you look like you're thinking about moving ahead here and taking your swords with you this time. So it could be that you are thinking of moving away from a situation that you think no longer serves you. Yeah, and you're doing it quite rapidly too. Um, because this is the um, the card of, of speed, of fast movement messages coming in. Some people call it the arrows of love. Some people talk about it being an internet card, so we can't discount those things. Um, but it's definitely the card of very fast, passionate movement. So something is happening here, whether that's you moving away from a situation or something coming in very rapidly. So let's have a look. Okay, so the next card is the Emperor. It's a very unusual an unusual reading here. Now, the emperor talks about a person. This man is top of his game. He can be a father figure. He can be a man who's really got his world under wraps, like he really knows what he's doing. He's very, very much in charge, and that's in all areas of his life. So he's financially secure. He's secure within his family, um, and he is sort of like your ultimate person really um, in this card he represents males um, however it could be the energy you're taking on at the moment so it could be that you're ready to move on and you're ready to move on quite quickly from this situation because you feel like you deserve a lot better than you're currently getting so it could be you're taking this energy on because you're like I don't need this in my life I've got all these other wonderful things I've got you know everything I need so I don't really have to put up with all this crap any longer and then we have a King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is often um, a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo or someone with those attributes. So it could be um, that someone has strong earth in their chart. The King of Pentacles is a very grounded man. He's actually quite calm, quite normal, quite, I hate the word normal, quite sort of run-of-the-mill um, man who's really, you know, um, down-to-earth, honest, and very sort of honest in his dealings. Um, in this card, he's looking at his pentacles. So I'm not quite sure why that I've been drawn to that, but um, this could be about money if it's about work. You could be worried about money and wanting to move on, but you can't because you're concerned about your finances. Um, but certainly worrying about some sort of stability here. He's definitely looking very hard at this pentacle. So I think that you're very, very much concentrated on your stability at the moment. And whatever it is in this current relationship, you're not getting this stability you want. It's keeping you in your head all the time. And I feel like you're at a place in your life where you feel that you deserve better and nothing is coming to you that you feel you deserve. This is why this emperor energy is here. Um, and to me, it's it could be that you've been dealing with a Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo yourself too. So keep that in mind. But I feel like this is the person you're dealing with. And I feel like somehow or another, they're just not coming to the party here. Whether this at work or, re or relationship... This person isn't giving you what you need here. So you're ready to move on in this card and work on something new. So the Three of Pentacles comes out. And again, we have a card of three. So I'm really thinking strongly now this person could have another love interest. It's very possible here. It could be that you haven't, you haven't sort of agreed to a relationship that is... Uh, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe you're, he's still seeing other people and you're more convinced that you want to be with him. In which case, you probably need to speak up because perhaps he isn't getting this idea. Some people aren't very wise, um, but I'm feeling like he's dating other people, whoever he is. Um, and then we have a King of Cups. So there's a bit going on in regards to people around you at the moment. Now, he could be dating someone that's a water sign, Um a Cancer Scorpio Pisces and he's looking at himself in this picture here he's very very much looking back at himself you know when I look at the cards I can see that if you look at this so I'm feeling 
I'm feeling that maybe this man, you're very interested in this man, but I think he's very focused on his own needs at the moment. And I think that's why he's sort of playing the, it could be that he isn't playing the field, but he's looking at himself to see what he wants. But I feel like he's in a very self mood at the moment and really not interested in, in taking things further with people. Yeah, he's not listening to his intuition here. So I feel like possibly he is interested in you, but he's not ready to commit because he's too busy looking at what he wants and his own needs at the moment. And he's not looking at what's inside him. So he still hasn't been able to reveal the true reason why he should be with you. Okay, and the last card out is the Knight of Wands. Oh, here he comes. Okay, so he is on his way. So if you've been worried about a relationship, then I would say to you that this person's about to understand in their own from their own intuition that it is you that they're supposed to be with and they're travelling back to you. They have been playing the field, which is, you know, perhaps not a greed thing. Perhaps you didn't agree to being, um, or, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, what do you call it, exclusive. So I feel like he is on his way back here. Now, if this is a work situation with you, you need to speak up to whoever you're working with because they do not have any idea how unhappy you are at work. If you speak up and they still don't get it, then by all means move on. But I have this strange feeling here that they're not really understanding why you're not happy at work. So this is a time in both situations where perhaps you need to speak up and tell someone the truth about how you're feeling. Because in all of these, you look like you're in your head, but you're not ready to speak up and say something. And I feel like in every situation here, doesn't matter what situation you're in. Um, oh, that's quite interesting. Um, no matter which what, int what you're interested in, you need to speak up here because the other person is still under unaware how you're feeling. And because of that, they're not coming. They haven't come to you or talked to you about it. They've been sort of floundering and not listening to their intuition. You may have done, but they haven't. Okay, and the card we got out from the Oracle deck, which is the Angel of Messages, um, is Layla. And it says, spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. So I feel like what this card is saying is that you need to sort of think out how you need to approach this situational person. Um, because I feel like there's more here for you. But for some unknown reason, you're not trusting yourself to talk to this person and they're not following their intuition i feel like with this king of wands here that he will be on his way back but see this to me can be a very uh, quick hasty lusty card so it could be that he's coming back to satisfy his own desires if you want something more with this person you need to speak up and say something because i think he's thinking that it's just an easy lay down to earth there all right guys thank you very much for watching